With just six simple ingredients, you can make the best white bread loaf you've ever had. Let's make it together. We're gonna need three cups of flour and don't forget that we're mixing our flour and then scooping it into our measuring cup. And we're leveling it off really nicely just to make sure we have the right amount of flour. That's one cup. That's the second cup and the third cup. What I love about this recipe is that it's really easy to memorize. Like I have this memorized in my mind because it uses one and a half tablespoons each of yeast, salt, and sugar. So it's really easy to remember. So I'm gonna add those in right now. One and a half teaspoons of yeast. One and a half teaspoons of sugar and one and a half teaspoons of salt, but I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. There we go. We are gonna grab our handy dandy spatula and give this a really quick mix. This is another one of those recipes where you just throw everything in a bowl, set it and forget it. And it's no need, so it's kind of just like the perfect recipe. And last but not least, we're gonna add one and a half cups of warm water, warm, not hot. And the only other ingredient you're gonna need is olive oil, but we're gonna save that for later. There's my one cup. And there's my half a cup. And once again, we're gonna give this a really good mix just with our spatula, we're not using our hands because this again is a really, really easy beginner friendly recipe that anyone can make. Make sure you're getting every little speck of flour in there. If it's not combining at first, it's just because your flour needs time to really absorb the water. So just keep mixing and it'll come together really nicely. Okay, once our dough has really come together and there's no dry flour left, we're just gonna kind of push everything towards the middle. And then we're gonna cover this and let it rise for an hour to an hour and a half until it's really doubled in size. We're just gonna cover this with some saran wrap and you can just leave it on your kitchen counter if your kitchen's warm or if it's very cold, then you can put it in the microwave or your oven turned off. Oh my gosh, this dough is more than doubled. So what I'm gonna do is just remove this top saran wrap. Wait, get a little jiggle. <laughs> just look at that. This is such a gorgeous dough. Okay, so we're gonna release this dough from the sides of the bowl. You can either use your hands like I'm doing or you can just use two forks if you don't wanna touch the dough, which is totally fine. I'm just gonna take my hands and kind of just pull everything away from the side of the bowl and bring it to the middle. Kind of just make sure it's all released and in the center. And then what we're gonna do after I wash my hands, we're gonna grab one tablespoon of oil. I'm using avocado oil or olive oil, whichever you have is fine. We're just gonna drizzle that right over your dough. And now you're gonna grab a loaf pan and you're gonna grab some butter so you can really butter it up so your dough doesn't stick. Here's my little pink loaf pan. And I'm just gonna spread some butter in there to make sure that my dough doesn't stick when it's baking. Just really get it in there. Just use your hands to make sure you're getting every little inch of that dish so that there's no chance that your loaf will stick. That is perfectly good enough. So now we're just gonna grab our dough and we're kind of just gonna fold it over itself to make like a little burrito. This is no exact science. You kind of just grab it and roll it. Just enough that it comes together into a little loaf shape and we can put it into our pan. Just like that, we're gonna drop it into our loaf pan. And once you're happy with the shape of your loaf, you're gonna cover it again with saran wrap and let it sit for another 45 minutes. And at this point, this is completely optional, but you can add any toppings you want here. So you can do herbs and cheese, cinnamon and sugar. I'm doing some sesame seeds just because I love sesame seeds. I'm just gonna sprinkle it all over the top of my dough. So I will see you back when my dough has absolutely rise and kind of just domed over the top of the loaf pan. I'm really gonna leave this very lightly on top, just like that. Okay, so this is exactly what you want your loaf to look like when it's ready. It's perfectly domed over the top of your baking dish and look at that jiggle. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to bake this. So this is gonna go straight into the oven. It's gonna go on the bottom rack of the oven at 375 degrees for 45 minutes. In it goes. And the best thing to do is to put it in horizontal so that way it bakes really evenly. And I will see this in 45 minutes. 
And here is my gorgeous, perfect loaf. I'm so excited with how this turned out. It smells so good and it looks even better. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let this sit for 30 minutes before we cut it. I know you're gonna wanna cut into this right away, but that extra 30 minutes gives it time to bake within itself. The steam in the bread lets it bake even more and then you'll get the perfect crumb. So I'll see you back in 30 minutes. This should come out really easily because of all that butter that we added in there and just look at this thing. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try it. Let's cut into this bad boy so I can show you the gorgeous crumb. It's so light and airy on the inside, it's unreal. If this doesn't make you wanna try out this recipe, I don't know what will. Thank you so much for watching this video. The full written recipe is gonna be in the description and don't forget to subscribe for so much more.